Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back. Uh, what did I tell you, right? Things are going to get uglier, and uh, they are getting uglier. And my calls that I made previously, you guys saw them real time. They're continuing to make money. Everything is is going uh, as planned. Now you got a lot of uh, pikers out there, degenerate gamblers, saying, "Oh, this is a good time to buy stocks." Yes. Oh, when there's blood on the street, you should be buying. Right? And when there's fear, you should be greedy. Right? A lot of stupid things, a lot of a lot of dumb things that people are saying out there. So forget about them. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay. So you look at the Nasdaq, and um, it's creating what I call uh, an Eiffel Tower. This is the this is the kind of move that nobody's expecting. Everybody is running around saying, oh, it's just the flu. It's just the flu. It's just the flu. It's not just the flu. All right. Um, as far as Trump is concerned, that guy's an idiot, right? Well established. And just wait until the American public figures out what an idiot this guy is. Um, he's totally lost control of the economy. Right? Everything is falling apart. They're trying to stimulate with rate cuts, emergency rate cuts. Uh, they're trying to now do helicopter money, fiscal. Let's get all the Wall Street guys together. And, and what? You're going to do what exactly? Fight the virus with what? More money? No. You need more test kits. The, 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 from what I understand, from what I can see right now, the market cannot assess what's going on in the U.S., they don't know how many cases are out, out there. They have no clue. I can tell you that Korea, with 50 million people, has conducted 140,000 tests. And from those 140,000, it has produced 7,600 cases. Okay, and that's going up every day, but it's produced. That's 0.5% of 1%. Okay. They had to do 140,000 tests to produce 7,000. It's 0.5. In the U.S., we we didn't test for two months. We had 450 tests done until last Monday. And in one week, we are up to 630 or something like that, 650. And we've conducted, I think, about 2,500 tests. So do the math. That's 25% of all cases tested have gotten uh, a positive result, which means shit is really bad out there. Okay, it's not 0.5 <laughs> like it is in Korea. 25% of all tests have come back positive. Yeah, but you're looking at the number. You're looking at the at the uh, at, at only 600 cases. Yeah, because you haven't tested 140,000. You go out and you test 140,000, and that's even low. Because there's 340 million Americans. Go out, okay, do half a million tests f relative to the size of Korea. Go and do it. Tell me how many cases you're going to find. Maybe it's not 25, maybe it's 0.5, but 0.5, okay, is not 600 people. And when the market does not know how to assess risk because they don't understand what's going on, they don't, we don't have a, an idea of what's going on in the U.S., they will sell the market. You can pump whatever you want. You can stimulate. You can have helicopter money. doesn't matter. right? They need to be able to understand how to assess the risk. What is going on in the U.S.? So we just went through stimulus week last week, and now it's turning into stimulus month. And the markets are crashing, emergency rate cuts, they're pulling circuit breakers, they're having Wall Street get-togethers, get <laughs> and they're going to do what? Fight a virus? They're going to try to cover it up, right, by limiting the amount of test kits per state, right, to keep those numbers low. You don't have to be a, a, a rocket scientist to figure out what reality is. If you look at the end game, People that have that have gone through the entire cycle of the virus, you're going to find out that there's about 6,000, uh, I'm sorry, 60,000 that have recovered, and there's 40, I'm sorry, 4,000 
that have died. Period. That's the number. That's the end result. Forget about the other 100,000, 110, I think now, whatever it is. Forget about them. Those are unhatched chickens. You don't know how many of those chickens are going to hatch and how many of them are not. Okay? You cannot do mathematics unknown to the known. Forget about that. That's hypothesis. That's theory. Forget about theory. We want to know all the, uh, the, 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 the problems. But it might be wrong medicine. It might be not enough ventilators. It might be not enough beds. It might be that they captured it too late. It might be that the healthcare system sucks wherever that, that you know, th those people live. It might be so many reasons that um, they died. Maybe they're scared to go to the to the hospital. Maybe they're the type of person that just doesn't go to the you know the hospital. Maybe they're you know they don't want to be quarantined. Maybe, who knows? Who nobody knows, right? So that's the stuff that you have to figure in, factor in. And the only way that you can figure out what the actual number is, despite the bad data coming out of China, we all know it's bullshit, right? We have come up with a six percent death rate. Now. What if we remove, let's remove China from the equation. What is left? Okay. And we got about 4,000 cases outside of uh, China. And you got about, I don't know, 800 cases where people died. That's 16% death rate. Not 1%, not 3%, not it's just the flu. Okay. It's a real problem. Oh, they're trying to panic you. No, they're not trying to panic you. It's the opposite. They're trying to to, to muddy the waters. And the COVID-19 flat earthers are typically trumpets. Right? They're, they're trying to protect the political dogma instead of worrying about their fellow Americans. Why? Because the numbers are low. They don't understand exponential growth rate. Right? You, you, cannot, you cannot keep ignoring a problem and thinking it's going to go away. It's not going to go away. And eventually, people are going to figure this out, and then the shit is going to hit the fan, and you're going to see that the only person that destroyed Trump is Trump himself, right, by trying to cover this up. Because there is no other logical explanation that a first world country, the richest nation on earth, the best biotech companies on the planet, right? We produce all the pharmas, not all, but mo most of the uh, uh, pharmaceuticals, the equipment, all that stuff. We're number one. And what? We can't figure out a test kit for two months? And then when we do, oh, wait, you know, we can only give you 100 per state or whatever the hell they're giving out. I don't know what it is. Like, are you kidding? How the fuck does that work? Anyway, so it all comes back to the same thing. If you cannot assess risk, market is going to sell. And because Trump or the administration or whatever the fuck happened, okay, uh, could not test appropriately and the market does not know what's going on. And from all the tests, you're seeing this rapid growth in cases as a percentage. And I'm sure that as you know, the number grows that 25% will probably become 20 and 15 and whatever. But uh, it, that is a very, very, very high number. It has nothing to do with um, with uh, one and two percent and 0.1% of, of what flu kills. So now that's creating another problem. Repos now are going from 50 to 150 billion dollars. Think about that. Do you know what the what the repos have been? Right? They used to be 30, 28, something like that, leading up to the crash. And then suddenly, boom, when the crash came, they went to 100 billion, 100 billion, 100 billion, 180 oversubscribed. And now we're doing 118 billion we did yesterday in repos. Okay? In five days, 100 billion a day, that's half a trillion dollars in five days days and if you don't understand what repos are they're like qe and they say well it's not qe yeah because they're not buying the long end who cares 
the 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 Fed is taking on its balance sheet, the um, bonds, whatever the, the the assets are, okay, and then giving the equal amount of cash reserves, okay, and those those cash reserves are going back into the system, pushing down interest rates, and as you can see, interest rates now uh, hit an all-time low of 0.36 ridiculous and if we start going into negative rates our banking system is fucked just like it was fucked in Japan just like it's fucked in Europe we're gonna be in the same boat right and if you think that this is good that you can go out and refinance well you're not gonna think that when business starts to fall off as the realization of what's going on is going to start emptying out malls okay businesses are going to start to lay off uh, you look at the tourist in industry even though it's small relative to the rest of everything else that's they're going to start to lay off right look what's happening in oil why is oil collapsing oh it's because of russia bullshit it's not because of russia of course not does it help no but oil is falling because global demand is falling why is global demand falling because you removed this number two economy in the world. You locked them down, 750 million people, locked down. They're done. They're not doing anything. Supply chains and all this, uh, you know, talk. It's not about the supply chain. Supply chains will come back. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's not the problem. The problem is that people are not going to be going out. Uh, they're going to be fearful. The social economic impact from all of this will wipe out a few trillion dollars off of global GDP. And uh, we don't know how bad it is yet because there's a lot of countries out there still that are not able to test appropriately. So we don't know what the hell is going on. You're not going to contain it. Forget about containing. Containing is out the window. We threw that out <laughs> months ago. We are in mitigation uh, period. We want to mitigate and uh we're waiting for the vaccine and it's going to be a year whatever it's going to be nine months 15 months whatever um but the socioeconomic impact is going to be uh significant we're going to wipe out a few trillion dollars in economic growth and if you follow me on twitter you're going to see what i was saying before this happened when the market was going up, two, remember, two weeks ago, they were telling you what? Oh, this is the unstoppable market. Oh, you know, trillion-dollar companies. Oh, look at the fangs. Oh, you know, everything is great. Bye, bye, bye. You don't want to be selling here. I got all the clippings. I saved the tape, believe me. Okay? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is everybody talking about? What, what are they? I, I was asking my, my friends, like, you know, who are on Wall Street the fuck is this oh, no, no, no. they gave me all these kind of excuses stupid things and they're like uh, you know yeah, no bye everything is fine you know death rate is okay you know oh no everything is fine don't worry about it it's not that bad it's the flu okay what happens now so here's where we are now okay there's a lot of talk in there that we're starting to have some credit problems um, so a lot of people are talking about the fracking, right? They cannot withstand such low oil prices. We don't know if they're going to sustain there. It's one thing to, to go down there because of fear and then bounce. Uh, and it's another thing if it goes down and stays down, right? Um, my take would be that it stays down. Will it be, you know, 25 that it's going to stay or is it going to be 40? I don't know. But uh, it's, it's, it's not going to... Uh, there's not going to be demand anytime soon in the global economy, okay? At least in the next six months. So, uh, when you when you have this kind of credit problems that you're going to start to see, especially airlines, you know, very high uh, uh, capital intensive businesses, they're going to start having difficulties to refinance, to to uh, acquire debt. And that's going to start to screw things up because they're going to start going into junk bonds okay 
and when you were having repo problems that was just supposed to be temporary by the way right oh don't worry about the repos eh, it's nothing remember that in September and I was like no 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 there's a problem somewhere somewhere <laughs> things are not working right right no no let me let me write an article about it no 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 it's not, it's no big deal it's just you know the reserve requirements that's the problem no it's not just like they, they, they said, oh, you know, it's a mid, mid-cycle adjustment in the summer. Remember that? The rate cut is just a mid-cycle adjustment. We're going much, much higher. The Fed said so. Therefore, we should believe them, right? These people, they don't understand. They just quote other people, and they just, that, that's their analysis. Everybody just says what everybody, everybody else says. That's not what I do, right? Clearly, it's not what I do. Remember when Bitcoin was going up, and I was telling you, oh, that this is going to be a top? Right? Remember when interest rates were at 3%? I was like, no, this is going to fall. Right? Did I know why it's going to fall? No, that's not my job. I, I, I don't have a crystal ball. You remember when I was telling you that oil is going to fall? Right? Um, you can't do that if you're quoting other people. Okay? And say, well, I agree with this person a little bit and a little bit with that person. That's not an analysis. That's a waste of time. If you're telling me you have a six-point model... Right? How do you model a coronavirus? You can't. How do you model FAS 157 that caused the great financial crisis where they forced banks to mark to market illiquid assets? How do you model that? You don't. It doesn't work. Those people are nonsense. They're idiots. Okay? They don't know what they're talking about. They're just very good at talking, marketing bullshitting people okay i don't possess that gift <laughs> i'm a very raw person i looked at facts the way they are and I, I i i analyze it and then i'll tell you what what the results i think are and when they work i'll come on here and i'll make the videos and i'll tell you all about it just like i did with bitcoin just like i did a few videos ago to tell you that this is this is not this hasn't even begun. If you want to get really nasty about it, okay, look at that. Look at that. Okay. You know what this is? This is an Eiffel Tower. Right? That's the structure that is showing right now. You may not like it. You may say I'm fear mongering. You may say whatever you want. I couldn't care less. I am telling you what I'm seeing. This is, and this goes back to. 1997, okay? This is an Eiffel Tower pattern. What the fuck is going on here? All right. Eiffel Towers are rare. Uh, and when they occur, they start getting very ugly very quickly. They're relentless and they don't stop. So do you want to buy the dip? Go ahead. Enjoy my... I, I'm, I'm not your... <laughs> I'm not here to tell you what to do. Go ahead. Go out and buy the dip. Enjoy it. Tell me all about how much money you made, what an idiot I am, how much I, uh, I'm, I'm full of shit. And, and if you're right, and I hope you are, <laughs> if you're buying the dip and you're nibbling on the way down, right? come back and tell me and I'll tell you, you know what? You were right. I was wrong. Sorry. I will because I got the balls to do it. All right. Other people don't have the balls to do that. And uh, I'm telling you, it, it doesn't look good. People are going to get hurt. And when all these, you know, coming out of the woodwork pikers think that, oh, this is a good time to buy the market. Really? This much is a good time to buy the market? No. This much is, is a good time to buy the market. But you know what's going to happen here? Everybody and their mom is going to be puking blood. Then you're going to be like, fuck the markets, you know, oh, you know, that's gambling. Oh, you know, that's when you, <laughs> that's when you want to go buy that's when i want you to tell me oh you know when everybody else is fearful you want to be greedy yes then and i'm not saying it's coming all the way down here but um what the hell i keep doing this uh but believe me we're we're not there yet it's not it's not where we are we haven't even begun to sell all we've sold is a little bit of froth 
just at the top here, just a little bit of froth. Oh, why are you using the Dow? I don't care what, what we use. It, it's irrelevant to me. Okay, we'll, we'll use the S&P. You want the S&P? We'll do the S&P. All right. Nothing. Nothing has, this is bullish. This is a bullish setup. This whole thing is bullish. It's an Eiffel Tower. I'm telling you. I don't care what index you use. This is a paradigm shift. You're going to see it. The MMT crowd is finished. They're done. Because when this is said and done, and all the money they're going to pump, all the liquidity, the stimulus, the this and that, repos, and uh, when we get done this, every single, every single person on the planet is going to know that MMT is full of shit. Remember that. I'm telling you. Just like Everybody out, everybody on the, on the planet figured out the libertarian gold bugs were fucking idiots when they were saying what they were saying. Now, now you want to buy gold. Why? Because if you're going to have bonds that are going to give you negative rates, why the fuck would you buy a bond and, and pay the, you know, the governments, right? Go, go buy gold. At least you don't have to pay anybody, right? Now it makes sense to go buy gold, but nobody's telling you that. And believe me, gold is a small market. If they start putting just a little bit of their trillions of dollars uh, into the gold market, the thing is going to fucking soar, right? Even Bitcoin, which is worthless, but it doesn't matter. It's accepted. It's accepted by everybody. People are trading it, period. That's it. Oh, oh, but look at Bitcoin. It's not doing anything. Oh, it's crap. You don't want it to. It's, you know, now, now, now everybody hates Bitcoin. When it was going straight up, Everybody hated it, <laughs> you know. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Everybody loved it, right? Now, now it's down. Oh, it's, okay. Watch what happens to Bitcoin over the course if this continues as I, pre, you know, forecast it will. Watch what happens. Okay. Watch what happens. And please, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you remember I told you buy below six thousand, right? What happened? We went all the way up to fourteen. If you were buying below 6,000, building a position, right, you went to 14,000. And I'll give you this freebie, guys. I will. Okay. You see this? That's what's, that's what's going to happen. That's what I think is going to happen. Okay. This wedge will break to the upside. Okay. It's a little freebie for you crypto guys out there. That's what's setting up. And every single time, you got people on Twitter, and it's always the same people for some reason. I don't know why. They're always like, oh, Bitcoin sucks. Oh, look at it, the way it's performing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll see. We'll see. So that's it for this video. I've covered a lot. Um, it's a long video, guys. I don't make short videos. I'm not that articulate. Um, you might see a, a bump in markets. Bear, ra bear market rallies are ferocious. And if you think, oh, now is the time to go out and make money. No, this is the time to lose money. If you don't know what you're doing, you will get crushed. You're going to be blowing out your hard-earned money. You're going to be you're going to be down in the morning. You're going to be up in the afternoon, and you're going to be crushed by the end of day you've seen these 1200 point moves no 1200 up 1600 down 1300 up 2000 down right and we're only down 20 percent well that's a lot no it's not no it mm -mm. no 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 uh so Stay away from ultra funds, stay away from margins, stay away. Wait, cash is a beautiful position. You think Buffett is stupid for being 120 billion in cash? No, mm -mm. no, 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 nope. And until you get to the point where the market is going down day after day after day after day, and you're like, okay, this is the bottom, this is the bottom, this is the bottom, this is the bottom. This Jesus, this is, oh my God, this is the, until we get to that point and everybody's just like throwing their arms up in the air, I don't think you will see a bottom. Okay. 
So sell the rallies. That's that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll tell you that much. So that's it, guys. Um, Patreon.com slash Real Macro. If you want to see my trades live, if you want my deeper analysis, because this is, this is just surface stuff. Uh, if you want to see what we're doing over there, come down to Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Okay? Take care. Boop. Oh, and don't forget to come down to train here, uh, trade, yeah, trade View, and you can follow me there as well. Okay, TradingView.com. Real macro. Bye-bye.